Hey, good morning. Pastor Chris here. Welcome to the Poolside Chat. It is, what is it, 8 a.m. on the day after the election. And I love something I heard yesterday. One of the commentators, who is a church-going uh, woman, uh, talked about her pastor. And he made such a great statement, and I want to share it with you. He said, today is election day. And tomorrow, God is still going to be on the throne. And that's what it is. So I want to talk specifically to those, well, actually both groups, those who were pro-Trump, who were very excited today, and those who were um, for uh, Vice President Harris, or against Trump even, it doesn't matter. Um, there is naturally some sadness, naturally some angst, and, uh, and there should be. But I want to share with you a verse that goes with what I just said about that pastor who said, yes, there's election day. We don't know who's going to win, but we do know that tomorrow God is still going to be on the throne. Psalm 118, verses 8 and 9, said it is better to put your trust in the Lord than it is in men. And it's better to put your trust in the Lord than in princes. See, I think sometimes... Let me premise this. Elections are vitally important. We are commanded to be good citizens. We are commanded to vote. We've heard some commentary give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, given unto God what is God. There's a separation, but there is a command to support our leaders, pray for our leaders, to vote, and to participate in civic life. But I think it serves all of us well to remember that they are not who we worship. They are not who we serve. We elected them to serve us. And that we are not to put our faith in these leaders. And I think at times like this, maybe sometimes we forget that or we can overlook that and feel like our faith has been shaken. And I just want to remind you, it is better to put our trust in God. He is still on the throne. He still holds us. He still directs us. He still cares for us. And He will still guide us, comfort us, lead us, protect us. That's God. So, if the election did not go the way you want, um, we should be sad, and that's okay. But we should also support the, pe the, 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 the people that the people of this nation did elect. And if your side won, I would... I don't know, challenge isn't the right word, but I would encourage you to look on those who lost, interact with those who feel sad and neglected and scared and anxious, to reassure them, to be kind to them, to show understanding, to show, uh, I guess just plain be nice. Don't gloat, don't rub it in their face. Just be nice. Because no matter what happened, there was going to be that need to come together, to be nice to each other. And we have a great opportunity to start that, like now. Um, the messages will come out. And uh, just reassure be kind, be understanding, listen, support, and uh, 
Just hear the people that are anxious. So that's my message today. I mean, there was so much I could say, but I just want to remind everyone that it's better to put your trust in the Lord than in men. And I hope that's not what we've done, but I fear that maybe some of us have. And if you don't understand what I mean by this, please reach out to me, reach out to a pastor you trust, reach out to a religious leader or friend who can explain what it means to put your trust in the Lord, who can share what it means to realize that man is not it, it's God that I don't know how to get back to God or get to God and that all it takes is to admit that I can't do it we call it sin to admit that I'm a sinner to realize that what God said in the Bible his words to us is true that Jesus his son God in the flesh came to earth to live among us to die for us as a perfect sacrifice and overcame death and sin and now lives forever in heaven. And all we have to do is say, I believe and I follow. I want to follow you. Or we say, I give my life to you. I believe. If you just had that aha moment right now, let me know. Good heavens, let me know. But connect, connect with a pastor, a friend, a religious leader who can explain and show you and support you and what it means to place your faith in God. Place your trust in the Lord, not in men. So guys, I guess congratulations if you're side one. Um, we look forward to working together and uh, I want to say becoming friends and if your side lost um, don't be anxious life is going to go on and uh, let's see what we can do to support those that our people elected to make this country even better than it was before uh, how was that for a political message Guys, Pastor Chris Ireland, remember, keep the questions coming. This is not a question. This is something I prepared to do. Uh, but ask your questions. Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, at FL Compass Church, and now on Instagram, at FL Compass Church. Be blessed. Have a great week. See you Saturday.